name is Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing a seahorse so grab something to draw with something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're gonna be drawing a seahorse. Yes, yeah, so cute. So excited for a seahorse right now. All right, let's go grab something to draw with or your mark maker. And we're gonna begin with a curving line towards the left side of your page for our dragon, uh, <laughs> dragons, <laughs> our seahorses. I was gonna say dragon horse, our seahorses face. And then we'll bring it up with our mouth. I like to give it some character by adding some little wavy lines there. Alright, next we're going to draw the top of the head, so I'll bring a line up and over, and then we'll draw a nice line that curves around and in. We'll draw the smaller lower jaw here, with a curving line that comes from around the back of the head, down and tucks underneath the top. I like to add a little U shape in the corner of the mouth. Okay, next we're gonna draw a fin. So we're gonna draw a little U where we stopped the neck. And bring it out into a triangular shape. And then you can add some thinner lines up it for some fin texture. And if you want one more peeking out in the back, you can draw just a smaller one so it looks like it's farther away and add your lines. All right, let's add a belly. So we'll draw the front with a nice big curving line. And then we'll spiral it around the back. Kind of does look like a dragon, doesn't it? Wasn't super off. And then we'll bring it around. And as we go up the tail, it's gonna get narrower and narrower until we finish. Back up to the head, we're gonna draw a line along the top and connect to draw, finish that fin. And then we'll add some curvy lines down it for some fin texture. can add a couple fins on the tail. We can add a little nostril and a seahorse eye by drawing a circle and then coloring it all the way in, just leaving a little bit of white there. I'm just gonna draw some smaller lines that echo the neck. And then we can draw some stripes with some curved lines across the body and tail. And of course they're curved because it's a form, right? The seahorse has shape and I like to add some smaller lines around the eyes just to give it some detail. And once you're done, you are ready to go ahead and color in your fabulous seahorse using your choice of colors to color it in. And also medium, whatever mediums you want. You are the artist of your art, so use what you would like to 
color with to color it in and your choice of colors. you're done your lovely seahorse is done well that's it for this episode please make sure that you subscribe to the channel ms artastic and if you create anything and share it online on social media please please i would love to see it so tag me at ms artastic and i will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag hashtag ms artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.